Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a list in Oxygen Builder. I see this question in the Facebook group all the time. How do I make a list? Why is there no list element? So hopefully this video will show you at least two ways on how to make a list and even customize the bullet points um, from there. So the reason I'm making this video is because I see this question all the time. There is no list element in Oxygen, and there are two relatively simple and easy ways to create a list. And I think this gives you a lot of control over how you style the list, how the list is laid out, all that fun stuff. So that's what I'm going to do right now. The list that we're talking about is this, and you'll see that each list item actually can be highlighted. So that's um, the benefit of the second method I'm going to show you. The first method I'm going to show you is very quick and very easy. So the first way I would add a list in Oxygen is to just throw in a rich text element and within rich text it gives you access to this tiny MCE editor so I'm gonna do item and then we'll just do a few of them and then what we can do is just highlight and add the list like that and if we go to the markup you'll see that it just does the standard list HTML markup UL wrapping around the list items um, save and close there's your list pretty simple pretty easy we can even go in that rich text and add maybe an ID or a class to the list, a class to the list items. A lot of different things can be done here. Um, so I think that's probably the quickest and easiest method of going about doing that. Um, with that being said, this is not my favorite method, and I would actually recommend this secondary method. So this second method is the one that I'm using for this pricing table that I'm working on. And with this pricing table, we can see that we can highlight each individual list item, um, and then the list itself is wrapped in the UL. And the way I'm doing this is not by just adding a div and then text within the div. I'm actually marking it up as a real list, so it's read um, by crawlers as a list, and I have control over the list items and bullet points. So the way I create this list, and I'm actually gonna create one below, and then we can kind of talk about the custom bullet points and stuff like that, is first I do add a div. But I'm actually going to change the div tag to this. And that gives me the wrapper for the actual list. And then I'm going to go to text and add a block of text and then make this a list item like that. And there we go. So you can see that it's following the standard list markup. It's kind of pushing that padding over because now it is um, a list wrapper and I'm going to just duplicate all this and you'll see it's a standard list as you would have one in HTML it has the bullets it has all of this the reason I like this is because then we can use the class system or we can just use the standard um, formatting to format the list items as we would any other element in oxygen so I can make things a lot bigger I can make things a lot smaller and it's still following the rules of HTML and you'll see that I, it, I did this here too list item the wrapper just like that all you need to do is use a custom tag and this comes with I think 3.8 so if you're behind on oxygen versions get up to 3.8 and you'll be able to do just this you'll notice that my list has a class of pricing list and then I don't believe I added any classes to the actual um, items and the reason I've added the custom CSS class is because I'm going to go and use the oxygen style sheets to change those standard bullet points to checks and this is just a standard HTML trick or a CSS trick but it can be done in oxygen because we're using the HTML markup for list so first the wrapper has the the class of pricing list or whatever class we have and then we just hide the bullet points by doing list style none. And then we replace the bullet points by adding content and whatever Unicode symbol we have, or uh, we can even go with um, Font Awesome or something like that. We change the color and we add a little bit of padding. And then we replace the list with the list bullet with whatever we have here, whatever we want here. So I made this into a check, uh, but you can make it into whatever you want. So hopefully this video is helpful and taught you how to create a list in Oxygen two different ways. Um, this gives you a lot of control. I like the second method better, but if you're looking for a quick and dirty way to do it, rich text will work too.